In this overview, we'll show you the highlights of loading data. To prepare your application, you'll load this data. Book data, including trial balance data and tax return data. Tax account data, including permanent and temporary adjustments and tax loss and credit adjustments. Payments and refunds for tax roll forward and the average number of employees for country by country reporting. Before loading data, make sure that you are loading only to base members, that the data contains only valid target amounts, and that any approval units to which you're loading data aren't already locked. You can interactively enter your data in forms or grids using the browser or the SmartView Excel add-in, or you can import data by file in batch processes using the Application Overview page. We'll explore the second option, how to import data by file. To familiarize yourself with the data formatting, perform an export and use the export file as a template to help you define the data to import. Select the dimensions on the rows, columns, and point of view, and then export. For example, you can select accounts on the rows, movement or data sources on the columns, and have the remaining dimensions stay in the point of view. Then open the export file to add rows for your data. Once you've defined your data, you're ready to import. Be sure to validate the file to make sure it's correctly formatted. Then you can import your data now or schedule the import as a job to run later. You can check the status of the import on the import page where the status report lists any errors that you can click to troubleshoot. You can also check the status on the jobs page and click jobs to access more information. If you use your own data sets and schedules, you can load supplemental data using the Supplemental Data Manager. The import process may affect your calculations, so check data status to see if you need to reconsolidate. In this overview, we showed you the highlights of loading data. To learn more, visit cloud.oracle.com.